highlight today's daily rehab is a special one because I'm going skiing next weekend and this is in preparation for that. So check out next week's when I'm at the snow show you some mobility work. But today we're going to use a Swiss ball. We're going to do a few exercises to try and work on essential ski components. So we need to do a bit of a hip thrust for your glutes because you use a lot glutes a lot when you're skiing and snowboarding. We're going to work on some quad work for some endurance because you spend a lot of time in one position going down a mountain and then we're going to work on some single leg work which is especially for the skiers to try and build up some glute and some quad strength as well as the control. So let's start with this one. Now I've set this up already. Now all you need is one of these sort of power type monster bands and some heavy enough dumbbells that things aren't going to move. I like using a Swiss ball. You can use a bench if you like or a jump box, whatever suits you or even a couch at home. Um, now, to start off with, to make things easy, you'd use one band, or if you want to make things harder, you can use two. So, if I start off with this, you go into the position where the band is on your pelvis, and there's a bit of tension on the way when you're at the bottom. So you're in a squat position. So I'm going to go get this ball ready in a hip thrust. So okay, from here you're going to do that position there, okay? And there's my resistance as long as those things don't move. So there's my resistance coming up in that position there, okay? Now, what you've got to think about with the hip thrust, it's a hip hinge, which is what you need when you're skiing and snowboarding. That hip hinge movement, you do it all day, going from here to sort of this position, all right? So you've got to make sure that your glutes are doing the work, all right, because they are going to be the ones that you need when you are skiing or snowboarding. To make them work harder, you've got to think, push my heels down through the floor to raise my pelvis. Don't try and use your back or you're gonna fatigue your back. So don't arch your back and lift your back up because you won't use your glutes. You've got to try and push your heels down in that closed chain type position so you arrive into that hip thrust, into that hip hinge position with your glutes fully on. Right? So I'm pushing power down through my heels and I like thinking about trying to push my heels through the floor to get that up. Right? And when I come up, I want to make sure my back's in neutral, so my core's on here. I'm not sort of in this position or arch too much, I'm in neutral. And when I push my heels down at this position, I want to then squeeze my glutes together to get the maximal hip extension without doing back extension. Okay, so hip extension without doing back extension and then slowly take the pressure off the feet and down again, up you go. Okay, so that position, that's really going to activate your glutes and get you really strong in a hip hinge position at the same time looking after your back so you're not in a dead lift position. Alright, so that's a fantastic one to start with to get those glutes fired up. Second thing, you want to go for some quad endurance. So, what I want you to work on is using a ball against the wall. Now you can either use the ball or you can actually sit against the wall or at home and do the same thing. I like using the ball. So, feet nice and wide, okay? Nice and wide into that position like you're on a board or on a pair of skis and get your knees out over your feet, right? In this position, you want to then go down as far as you can go, preferably to 90 degrees, and that's the one you've got to hold. Now this is the quad burner that all the skiers and boarders need because you need that endurance to be able to handle that position for a long period of time. And I'll try and focus on that for about 30 seconds. Now keep talking really helps because it's hurting, but it's not hurting my knees. My knees aren't too far forward, okay? I'm in that position there, all right? So my shins are almost vertical, but I'm working really hard endurance-wise here, my back's in a nice position, and I can just hold that there. And that's the one you want to work on, all right? So that position there for about 30 seconds, and then you come up and release, and go for about sort of 20 seconds release time, and then back down again, because that's how long your sort of little run will be. So you go down into 20 se 30 seconds or so, hold there. Now this is where you can focus on, keep those knees out over your feet, don't let your knees roll inwards, right? Keep them out keep them parallel and keep focused on heel weight through your heels not your toes okay weight through your heels or the middle of your foot so you can really put some pressure down through there which makes them work even harder 
all right? So that's your endurance one. Now, your single leg strength work is going this way. Now, the beauty about this exercise is it works the glute as well. This is called your one leg ball squat. Now, what you try and aim for is making sure that all your weight is on the outside leg, okay? So I'm not leaning on the ball, I need to push away from the ball, so all my weight is on this leg. And I've got to look at my knees and make sure they're parallel about, um, and level, okay? So when I squat, I want to make sure my knees in the middle of my foot, so I can see my big toe, my pelvis is level, and I want to make sure I am pushing my knee forward and pushing my hips back at the same time, and then coming back up, okay? Don't try and just stop the knee and hinge your bum backwards like a deadlift. You need to try and do a squat. So push that knee forward, sit your bum back, keep your knees level, which keeps your pelvis level, and then come back up, all right? Now, people with knee pain, be careful. You may not let that knee go too far forward. So that's the little change you need to do. If you've got knee pain, then you need to sit backwards and stay away from that pain until that problem improves. Now, little tips. I'm pushing my left knee into the ball laterally that way, right? So when I stand here, I'm, like I said, I'm not leaning on the ball. I'm pushing my knee into the ball to try and hold that pressure. And that's making me work extremely hard here, which is that lateral strength movement I need on my pair of skis or on a snowboard. Okay, I need that strength movement to push away and make a turn, all right? So I'm in here pushing away, okay? but load bearing down through that leg, keeping what they call an edge, keeping that weight through there. So when I squat, go into a turn, I've got the power there and drive up through. So this is a great exercise for skiers for their single leg strength, control and stability. All right? Down into there, even pressure, drive back up, really use the glutes, use the hammies, use the quads, and just keep that going in as deep as you can go with no pain. All right? So that's your single leg ball squat. And your last one is this one here. Back to here again, but today I'm going to do a single leg squat with the ball. Now this gets a little bit harder. You've just got to make sure this foot doesn't go too far back. If it's too far back, my knee is going to go too far forward. I won't be able to sit backwards. It won't be a squat position. Also, I don't want too far forward, okay? Because it puts too much sort of shear load. I've got to be nice here in the middle, and when I'm on the ball, I want my foot in the middle a little bit as well, okay? So I'm centered over my knee, you can come around here for. When I squat this way, I don't want my knee rolling in, okay? So from this point here, I'm going to sit forward and squat down, and then drive back up. Now it's quite hard, you see me shaking and rolling around a little bit, I've got to get used to that control. If you look at my knee, it's staying in line. Okay, I'm not letting the knee roll in, it's very crucial. Same thing with the hips, don't let the hips drop. Sit your bum back, get the control right, sit the bum back, knee in line, and work on the squat. Okay, now as you get, you might start your foot forward, as you get better, bring the foot back a little bit more so it's a little bit more in a squat position. Sitting down, control that movement, go as low as you can go without pain, drive back up full extension and just keep repeating okay this is the one where you really need to watch your foot and watch your knee once you've got the hang of it you can look up but try and aim for at least eight reps of this sitting back controlling up and this will really help you with that one leg of control mostly for skiers but for boarders this will be a great one for you too because you can work on the leg that you're weaker on right so down into here and driving back up. Alright, so next time you see me, I'll be on the snow with some mobility work. Catch you then.